The Sony a7 IV, the camera we love, got an update. Version 2.0. I will show you step by step how to update. First of all, you have to charge your camera to 100%. Then check your current version. It's under menu, setup. setup option and version if you have the version 1.0 you have to upgrade first to version 1.05 all the links I will put in the comments field down below click on download Connect your camera with your PC or with your Mac. I'm using a Mac. And you're gonna see two drives. You have to use the untitled drive. Just go to file you have downloaded. It's the body data. Just put it in the root. Even if you want, you cannot put it in the wrong place. It's not gonna allow you. Now it's copied, disconnect the camera and start the update. And cross your fingers. To do that, go to version again. You're gonna see the software update. If it's not clickable, no worries. Most probably you have your card in the wrong slot. It must be in slot one to able to update the camera. Just click on software update. Click on execute. Now you have to wait. This small light is going to blink during update. When it's finished, you're gonna see by the update complete on the display. Just go to settings menu and check your version. Success. Now to update to version 2.0, it's actually the same procedure. Just download the version 2.00, but this time it's gonna ask some questions. It's because of the new software which you can use. I'm downloading without an account. Important point is, please delete the old data which you already used for the update. Now copy the version 2.0 to the same place. Disconnect your camera, then start update. Body update complete. Let's check if it worked.
Now to the Sony Creator app. I never used the app before. It's gonna be the first time. Just download the app from App Store. I'm using my Android phone for this procedure. It's a little bit time consuming. Just allow notifications, agree and proceed. You can read that if you want. For the connection, the Bluetooth of your camera must be activated. It's not in Do Not Disturb mode. Activated the Bluetooth. Now activate the Bluetooth of the camera. The last step is activating this option, CNCT Connect. Smartphone connection, connect a smartphone. Now you have to allow it on the camera. It's finally complete. The thing I'm curious about is the remote shooting function. It's gonna be useful for vloggers without a cameraman. They can start record from distance, they can position the camera and also at the same time see what they are recording. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and if you have any questions write down in the comment field.